Hi, I got a new project I'm starting in the month of September, and I don't know how long it's going to go. I am doing index cards. <laughs> I got some stencils here, and I want to, uh, I think I'm going to do three a piece. I've got 180 cards I got at the $1.99 store. So apparently there is a uh, something called ICAD one card one in or index card a day, <laughs> and I guess this takes place in June. Of course, I didn't know that. Um, I'm always late to the party, <laughs> or I don't even know there is a party. <laughs> so in this this regard, I just want to do an index card um, project. I'm not going to do it just one a day or anything like that I want to sometimes I might do more than than one card a day uh, I I would like to do a Rolodex project but right now I don't have a Rolodex so I thought well I you know I can buy these index cards and see how it goes and I don't know exactly what I will be making every day with these, but I am going to try to to at least uh, do one one a day, and I don't know. We'll see. These um, stencils, I got a group of them, so they're not they're not quite as thick as regular st uh, Stampin' Up or what what is that? No, that's not right. Anyway, the Tim Holtz kind of kind of stamps, but they work pretty good. I just even if it flops around a bit, it's okay because I'm probably gonna end up covering them up anyway. But I'm trying to be a little bit better at taking care of my my stencils and getting some of the ink off. It's it's the archival ink, so it's permanent. So actually, oh hey, watching on TV. I have a QR code you can scan and subscribe. How about that? <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, so back to our channel. Um, I really like this leaf print. I think it's it's so pretty. And um, I just like the option of, of maybe having some of the stencil peek out. And, and possibly, you know, can give me an idea of what to glue onto the front. I also want, I also like the, the fact that, that I can take the index card to the sewing machine and, and sew elements and textures and stuff on there. Whereas in a, a Rolodex, um, I guess, I guess you could have things sticking out a little bit, but this way it just, you know, I don't, I'm not spinning them around. <laughs> They're just going to be in, um, I don't know. I was thinking about either either putting them into a journal or I don't know some some way to display them. I I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. I love this rose shabby roses pattern. This is really why I even got the whole the whole set. Just love that. And um that's the line. Yes, yes, that's the lined area. One side is lined, one side is plain, blank. And I don't know which side I'm going to use, so I've been stenciling both sides. What I do with these brushes is, right now I've only got three out, and so the color family, I guess, the, the you know, if it's all greens and blues it'll be on one brush and if it's browns it's on another brush and so it's not it's not a pure color of whatever I'm picking and this one's plum that's pretty but man that that plum um I don't know what's wrong with that with that ink pad it is like bleeding out it doesn't know how to stay in its own lane. <laughs> but it is pretty. And um, 
very, I mean, just you can see how how bright and bold it is on the on the stencil. So that's a I've been using a baby wipe. I I keep I would keep forgetting to get baby wipes, and so the last time when I was out and I was at the ninety nine cent store, I was like, well, I. You know, I told my husband, he was with me, I've got to go in the baby aisle, which I don't ever go into. I don't have babies. I don't have grandbabies. And I said, I, I need to get a pack of, of baby wipes. And he kind of looked at me and I go, well, it's supposed to help get ink off of, of craft projects. <laughs> like, oh, okay, whatever you need, hon, we'll get that. But it just, you know. If you don't go into that aisle for any reason, it's sort of weird. And it was really hard to keep remembering to do that when I was out. This one is Hickory Smoke. And I use it with the... Well, I think I'm going to use it with the same brown tone brushes. So it'll have, it'll have mostly brown on it. And... Um, oh, yeah, here I tried to use the, the dauber. And that was a that was an epic fail. <laughs> it did not work. And so I went back to the brush, and there you can see it still has brown on it. I try to rub it off on the the um on like the the last time I'll use that color on a card. I would try to to not go back to the ink pad and just rub the color that was on the brush onto the card. But sometimes I'd forget to do that. And this one, I was trying to figure out which way to, how to put the, the music, uh, sheet music on there. Because the card is wider than the stencil. And, you know, just playing around. Trying to come up with something creative. This was one of those double stencils. This one just looks like splotches, like it got dirty. <laughs> And that's back in the sepia, the sepia um, ink pad. And just do the front and the back. And I don't know, have you done any index cards? This is Mermaid Lagoon on the honeycomb. I think I was just, there we go. Now, now I've got the color coming on the blank side. I've... I don't know. I don't know why I haven't ever done. I've seen them, you know, show up every once in a while on on YouTube or you know various social media platforms and stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. But I do I do journals, and then I don't know this. After doing my summer of fun journal, I thought, well, let's do something a little bit different. And so. I decided index cards. And there's the dots. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, it, I don't know. I've, if I don't want to have a stenciled card, I still have those blank ones. And, um, like I said, instead of just doing one a day, I think that I could I could do two, maybe three. <laughs> Cause sometimes when I get into it I just I don't want to stop. You know. Uh, no, I think this might be the last the last stencil that I'm working with here. We shall find out in just a moment. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So here's all the the cards. Quick flip through how they turned out. Some are some are very dark. Some of them are light, and I like that. I like to have a oh see there <laughs> those two stuck together, and so I missed the you know the sides of two of those. So I've got instead of three cards, I've got four cards with the music notes. That's okay, you know. I'm going to use them anyway. So let's see. I've got, I'm going to, I had to keep them together. 
So I'm using the rubber band at this point, and then I thought, well, why do we have to just have a rubber band? Let's make it pretty. <laughs> so this is my snippet roll on a stip snippet stick, and I'm just going to wind that around, make it really cute. There's the stick. It was just an odd piece of castaway. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.